All the 16 teams had their matches. Here are some of the results. Army uh, from Yekaterinburg beat Dynamo from Moscow 6-2. The same score was for Zorki against Kuzba 6-2. Uh, Alma Dynamo and Almata beat Palot 4-1. Uh, Vodnik uh, beat Yenisei from Krasnoyarsk. This was in Arkhangelsk. Uh, uh, so we hear a lot about uh, field hockey being losing popularity. That's not uh, really the case. Uh, Vodnik uh, uh, came out ahead in the very beginning. This might have not have been typical for Yenisei, which is based in Krasnoyarsk. It's too bad that Yenisei was so, so weak in the offensive and so really weak in the defensive. When uh, no one even remembers when Yenisei might have lost 10 to 3, as they as they themselves have won, lost as they themselves lost uh, three to, uh, this way today. Uh, so we see Moscow uh, Dynamo is uh, uh, doing quite well, uh, doing very badly. It's only one point. Torpedo from Usmanagorsk uh, won 7 to 5, and here is another two groups here uh, where you might see there are two. Uh, groups here which are, to, are not equal in strength. This is Dynamo Moscow, Chimic, Torpedo, and Torpedo on the left is Group, group A. Group B is Army, uh, Wings of the Soviet, Spartak, uh, and Tractor. The championship will be resumed on the 27th of uh, February. The word is shaping has only recently become a word in Russian. So this is a system of calisthenics for women and the member of the fine, of the pretty sex in St. Petersburg. This is the competition in Moscow. So we appreciate here the individual approach of this uh, particular form of sport. Uh, and we see the artistic skills here. Someone might say that shaping is just a beauty show, but no, it's a sport which forms the figure. And Tatiana Karpusha became the champion from St. Petersburg for the shaping competition. In Malaysia, uh, in the capital, we see championship on badminton, uh, and we see a uh, badminton isn't got as much money as tennis, uh, but there's a $76,000 prize. In Asia, badminton is so developed that it's not an accident that almost all the first uh, places were won by Asians. Uh, Zhao Zhenhua from, from China uh, won. Uh, Zhao Jian Zhenhuai, one from China, and Su San Tsi, one from uh, Indonesia. Thomas Long in Holland and Pernil Dupont one did well uh, from Europe, of the Europeans. Here we see Barcelona, uh, uh, which is some, which is being uh, not doing too well and not going to do well against uh, Madrid Real. We see a score here 2-2 two -two between Barcelona and Burgos. But Barcelona would, did, did not get defeated, as might have happened. But there's no hoping that Barcelona will become championship again this year, as it did last year. Um, I want to now uh, give you the headlines of the day in economics, politics, and culture. The state's Secretary of State of the United States uh, met with Mr. Yeltsin and Gorbachev. The minister of ministers of foreign affairs of Western Europe have decided to extend assistance, but reduce credits by one half. Honecker evidently will be sent to North Korea for treatment. The IRA has paralyzed the train stations of London. Gavril Popov has resigned as mayor of Moscow. And the Moscow Art Theater is celebrating the anniversary of the 100 years of the, from the birth of the great Russian actor and emigre Mikhail Chekhov. Uh, this is simultaneous interpretation from the Russian by John Glad. And here we have the weather coming up. In Belarus, it's minus 3 to plus 2 Celsius. Remember, zero is freezing Celsius. In the Ukraine, minus 1 to plus 5. One Celsius degree is 1.8 Fahrenheit degree. I'm sorry. 
one, <laughs> that's right, yeah. In, uh, in Krasnoyarsk, in Stavropol, it's minus three to plus two. In the central ag agricultural regions, it's minus two to minus seven. In the volga Vyatka regions, cold, minus five to minus 10 Celsius. In Karelia, uh, it's minus four to minus nine. And in the middle Volga region, minus three to minus eight. In the Urals, minus eight to minus 13. And in the Baltic states, we have in Estonia, Latvia, minus three to plus two. And in Lithuania, plus one to plus, shes, uh, plus six. In St. Petersburg, it's minus two to minus four. And it's Moscow, minus three to minus five. And if you turn in next time, we may g just may give you the phone numbers of all those Moscow championships, uh, champions in the shaping contest. Who knows? This is saying good night, John Glad, the informational television agency.